What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. Today I'll be checking out Why Did the Chicken from Play Again Games. This is for four to eight players, ages 12 and up, it'll take about 30 to 60 minutes to play. And in Why the Chicken, you'll be creating jokes and trying to finish the punchlines with your friends. Is it hilarious or is it terrible? Let's open it up and see how it plays. Alright, so we'll take a look at what you're going to get inside of Why Did the Chicken. First and foremost, we have our very short, handy, dandy rule booklet. Uh, the game is incredibly simple. You will have learned this game in no time. Extremely simple game, very well done rule booklet for a simple game. Next, you're going to get pencils and you're going to get notepads. Each player is going to need these because you will be writing down answers to jokes. In this game, you're going to create a joke without a punchline, and then you are going to create the punchline yourself. And you can create as many as you want. So once a punchline is created, this is not like apples to apples or cards against humanity where you can only make one joke. You're actually going to be trying to write down as many as you can and throw them into the box so the judge can read them because there is going to be one person who is the judge. So how this works is you're going to have two kinds of cards. You're going to have question cards and you're going to have noun cards. So once you've decided who's the judge, you've handed out pencils and papers, you are going to have the judge flip over one question and two nouns and they are going to read off the question. So this would say, what's the difference between a postal worker and a football player? What's the difference between a postal worker and a football player? You flip the sand timer and everyone is going to write down as many answers as they can. Crazy, zany, whatever. Always play to the judge. One party game recommendation. And then you're going to shove them into the box and keep going until the sand timer runs out. So you might say, what's the difference between a postal worker and a football player? Well, uh... Uh, the football player only works on Sundays. Hmm. Uh, but anywho, you're going to continue to do that, and then the judge is going to look through all the answers. He's going to read them out loud, and hopefully it'll be a hearty, fun-filled game where everyone is laughing. And whoever wins that round, whoever made the funniest answer, is going to get one of the noun cards. This essentially counts as a point. Then they will become the judge. You play until uh, until everyone has had a turn at being the judge. Once that has happened, you'll total up who has the most noun cards, and whoever is, has the most noun cards is going to be the winner of Why Did the Chicken? Alrighty then, Why Did the Chicken for Play Again Games? What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, the game is not going to be for everybody. In fact, this is a very niche game. Uh, it's not really going to be for younger children because some of the jokes can get inappropriate. Also, you need to know how to write and write well in order to answer the questions. Uh, also, you need to have a lot of creative, funny people to play this game. If you do not, this game will go as flat as PBR sitting out in the sun. It really will. Uh, I've played this game where it's went over just like gangbusters and everybody's had a great time and they're like, ah! And then I've also played it where everybody's like, hmm, can we play something else? This is no fun. This is no fun. Uh, no strategy to this game, no artwork to this game. It is purely your imagination and some cards and pencil and paper. Moving on to the pros, though, this game can be a lot of fun if you have the right crowd, as I mentioned. Uh, uh, one last kind I forgot to mention is the game will get a little bit repetitive. This is not one where you're going to play it and say, oh, I want to play it again. It's just not that kind of game. However, as a nice palate cleanser, as something you bust out maybe once every couple months with a nice creative group, I can recommend Why Did the Chicken. However, for everybody else, I would steer clear of Why Did the Chicken and go for other less creative party games. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That was a review for Why Did the Chicken. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.